for the other day, how my girls have been keeping me very encouraged, you know, um, because uh, my daughter, Nala, of course, the way she just gets in here and pray, and then just pray through, and then Gloria, wow, I'm just <laughs> amazed with this young lady. Uh, even whenever she uh, goes and she just sits there and prays with us sometimes, and you know, and then, I don't know where she got it from, but she'll, you know, even Sister Shay can tell you, by the power. I'm like, wait, <laughs> where'd you get that from? You know, <laughs> so I know in the Bible it says if you train up a child, you know, in a way, you know, <sighs> anyway, I can't really go into I can't remember exactly because he really caught me off guard. But <laughs> I'm just, I'm just so thankful, you know, to see another day. You know, and another birthday, obviously, too. Here. 
you know, that's sticking in here, that's praying and keeping, you know, things going. And I appreciate every one of y'all do. I might not say much, I might not be up doing that, but I do appreciate each and every one of you, and I love you. And I thank God for you. Amen. All of those testimonies, really, you know, we are. You can feel we're living in the uh, end times. Yes, yes. You wonder what you're feeling. You're feeling the end time. Yes. Right. You're feeling what was spoken by the prophets has come upon us mm -hmm. and upon our generation. But I'm grateful that. I tell you, I'm just glad I'm not right in the middle of uh, one of these big metropolitan cities. That's right. I'm, I'm thinking about all that happened in the past three days. That uh, hurricane that came from a uh, watched it as it went from a tropical. Uh, system to uh, one thing after another and become a what a category four? Yes, sir. Four. Man, that thing was, is just just devastated. Yes. Remind me of uh, 2011, that tornado that come through Java and tore down everything. But this was widespread and it was much worse than than what you remember about that tornado that hit 2011. And they said there's another they got their eyes on that could be forming in the same direction. And uh, billions and billions of dollars. But it's going to take. I remember, I, I never forget, Brother Joe said, it from, he said, the time is coming. He said, the people that make it, they're going to have to make it on their knees. They're going to have to make it in prayer. Yes. And that time is upon us. Yes. And if you make it, it's because you're praying. Yes. Right. Because you're praying. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Folks that's not making it, you know, uh, I've seen how so many falling apart, churches and different ones, but God is still real and answer prayer. Someone called me. Um, I had three phone calls. How that God is raising people up. I don't get up here and boast and brain about, you know, God doing this, doing that. I just take my focus and my time on the word. Yeah. But just this week we've had three phone calls. How that people was on death bed. And how God raised them up. But we don't get up there and brag and boast and try to make ourselves look good and make others look bad. That ain't for, we're not to do that. That's right. Man. Are we? No, sir. No, we're sir. to get up here and preach the word. Yes. Right. And build you and establish you upon the word. Yes. That's right. Man. That's true. And some yes. of these folks that's going around boasting and saying how God is doing this and doing that. You know, Jesus himself said, some going to come in my name. Lord, how we not cast out devils? How we not prophesy? How we not done all these great works? And he's going to say, I never knew you. That's right. Yes. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Mm -hmm. We'll never know you. That, that, that iniquity means false teachings, yep. false doctrine. And other things, he didn't deny on other situations. He, he, he's not going to deny that they've done these things. But yet he's going to tell them to depart. Because building on their own works and on a wrong foundation, we're going to have to really do everything we can to keep people on the word, mm -hmm. yeah. on the truth. And uh, we're going to go right into a few scriptures here. I don't know if we want to teach them. Of which way, but Saturday, I mean Tuesday, I was inspired by the Lord to talk on some certain issues. And, and of course, I think I want to uh, go into a few things. Just sound, right. sound scriptures. I don't right. uh, yes, 
And uh, if you have your Bibles, turn with me to the book of Genesis. I believe I read a little bit of that. First chapter, I think. And I was talking on uh, Tuesday on. In the beginning was the word. And in verse 5, it goes on to uh, verse 5, that in him was life. And then life was the light of man. But let's go to uh, Genesis chapter 1. And let's go to verse 1 and go through verse 5. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. And uh, go through verse 5. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And that's something. And I brought this out to you how that in the beginning, when God created everything, He created everything perfect. Mm -hmm. He didn't create He didn't create things void and full of darkness and without form. Something happened between verse one and verse two. In the beginning, read that again. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form. Now verse 2, something happened since that creation. What was it that caused the earth to become void and dark and without form? What happened? Well, Satan was cast down to this earth. Satan was cast down here. And that's the cause, and that's what caused the earth to become void. And without form and darkness everywhere. Read verse 2. And the earth was without form. The earth was without form. And void. Void. Empty. Uh -huh. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. Yes. God didn't create darkness on the face of the deep. He didn't create the earth void and without form. Finish reading that. And the Spirit of God moved. And the Spirit of God moved. Upon the face of the waters. On the face of the waters. That's what's fixing to happen again. The Spirit of God is fixing to move upon the face of the waters. Waters represent people. Mass groups of people. The Spirit of God once again is fixing to move upon the waters. Go ahead. And God said, let there be light. And God said, let, I remember the first message I told you on this. First message I ever preached when I was a teenager. Um, I preached was let. <laughs> Something simple. Let. I broke it down. I was in school then. I knew the verbs and all that. I said, that's a verb. Show the action. I said, something happened. God, when God said, let something happen, a creation come into being. Right. You know? Right. And God said, let there be light. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And there was light. And there was light. Uh -huh. And God saw the light and it was good. Yes. And divided the light from the dark. Divided. And, and it's still in this principle. Today is to divide light from darkness. Yeah. What fellowship mm -hmm. had light with darkness? Right. What fellowship had a believer with an infidel? Right. With a Christian? Mm -hmm. You know, God, He don't join you with unbelievers. Right. Does he? Right. But God said, let them be light. And all that darkness left. And we're going to see it happen again. Yes. Darkness is on the earth again. Yes. Gross darkness is upon people. The spiritual darkness is gross darkness. Mm -hmm. And he said, let there be light. Mm -hmm. 
Did he? Yes. And the earth was without form. Well, look at how when God created Adam and Eve, and and uh, the devil came in and mourned them and corrupted. They was perfect. And God said, the earth was without form. Well, once again, the earth was without the, re the revelation and the image and the manifestation of Jesus Christ. It's, been form. It, it, it's without form. People are without purpose. They don't have the real uh, reflection of Christ like they're supposed to have. But God is going to bring forth sons of God and they're going to bring in the manifestation, the nature, the life, the operation of Jesus Christ. Yes. As he is, so are we in this world. They're going to walk this earth as the sons of God. Mm -hmm. And they're going to have to, and they're going to be formed in his image. Right. Formed in his likeness. Yes. Right. Right. The whole world waited yes. for that form to take place. That's right. The whole world is waiting for well, I don't, I'm not going to go in that direction, but let there be light. Let's read over in Exodus chapter 34, verse 27 through, 36, through 35. Exodus chapter 34. When y'all got to read? Exodus 37, verse 27 through 35. Exodus chapter 34. Yeah. 27. 27 through 35. And the Lord said unto Moses, Write thou these words, for after the tenor of these words I have made a covenant with thee and with Israel. And he was there with the Lord forty days. And then some, he was there with the Lord, how many? Forty days. Forty days. Forty nights. And, and he didn't break his fast. He went down to give them the uh, tables of stone that was written by the very finger of God. Mm -hmm. These ten laws that God wanted man to live and abide by. And when God saw what they was doing, he said, Moses, I'm going to disinherit them. He said, go on down. I'm going to raise up a, a, a new crop of under you. Right. And Moses said, God, no, you're not a man that you should lie. You, from, you promised Abraham that his seed, as the sand of the sea, and as the uh, stars in the sky, the stars in the sky represents the sons of God, the spiritual seed. Mm -hmm. The sands on the earth represent the natural seed. And God, how can you go back on what you promised Abraham? You promised him. Yes. And now you said you're going to destroy him and destroy his seed. And you're going to raise up my seed. How do I know uh, 400 years from now uh, when my seed started acting stupid, you won't destroy them? Mm -hmm. So you got to keep your promise. You're not a man that you should lie. Right. You're not the son of man that you should repent. That's right. Come on now, get on your knees, God, and repent. <laughs> God had to repent and had to, as the first man, to, to bring God to the altar and, and remind him of his word. He had to get on the altar and repent. And he said, okay, but them that have sinned against me, I'm going to destroy them. I'm going to kill them. But you go down there and Abraham and, and Moses went off the mountain and he saw all that sin mm -hmm. and open sin, sodomy, mm -hmm. and perversion, right. orgies. Yep. And he took them two tables of stone mm -hmm. out of anger and threw them 
and the children of Israel and make them, and he grounded them to powder and make them drink it. And, but Abraham, but Moses went right back without breaking the fingers, 40 more days, nights, and where he could get some answers for God's people. Yes. Man. Get some answers. Finish reading that. And he was there with the Lord. He was there with the Lord. Forty days and forty nights. Uh -huh. He did neither eat bread nor drink water. And does something. Mm. I can go with that bread and water. I have gone, you know, four days, seven days, somewhere around right there without anything. Bread or water. So my life, you felt, I felt like I was dying. <laughs> Especially without water. Yep. I can go without bread. I mean, I can go without food on many long fasts. 21 days, 40 days, yep. sometimes 50 or 60. We go on those long fasts, long extended fasts. Right. But um, different ones would have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. And they would try to go on them long fasts, and they could go Maybe seven, one went eleven days and locked up the bowels, died. Right. You can't just go without water now. I mean, going without water for seven days is equivalent to twenty-one days of fasting or more. But you can lock your bowels up right. if you try to do what Moses did. Yep. Moses went forty days. Read that again. And he was there with the Lord. He was there with the Lord. Forty days and forty nights. Forty days and forty nights. Mm -hmm. Somebody said Jesus went without food and water. Well, the Bible says he went without food. I don't see what he said he went without water. I'm sure there was there are special times when uh, there are situations, crises, when God will require you to go without food or maybe without water for a day or maybe three days. But uh, not too much. But without food, you can go without food. And I'm a witness, you can go without food for 40 days because your body will begin to feed off of itself after after four days, you lose your hunger for food. You lose your appetite. Yep. And, uh, and your body will begin to become stronger than it was than when you was eating. Because you entered into a fast. And your body is eating all that uh, fried chicken that, that never did digest. Your body is eating all the food that never did um, just just lay up there and accumulate it and fat. Mm -hmm. And your whole body go through a whole cleansing, a whole detox. And you become stronger, your cells will regenerate, and you'll become more healthier. And a lot of people get healed from diseases that would have otherwise killed them. Yep. You get the, the, the cord lungs, I mean the cord arteries become unclogged. And uh, they, if they had a lot of blood pressure issues, they get healed. So many benefits comes from fasting. And your mind is clear yep. and crisp. And you're understanding and you're much more keener than you were when you was eating. Mm -hmm. Right. That's right. I missed a long fast. Yes. Because it totally uh, restored mm -hmm. a lot of things in your body that needed to be restored. Yes. I mean, you read really that. I, I believe it said, I just got 15. Read just a little bit of that. Hold what you got there. Read just a little bit of that. I just got 58. And some people always bloated. 
They always got issues. They never take time to let their body recuperate. Never take time to fast. So their body can heal it. The body has been made to heal itself. And they never let their body recuperate or heal itself. Isaiah 58. Read that. If they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteousness and forsook not the ordinance of their God, uh -huh. they ask of me the ordinance of justice. They take delight in approaching to God. Wherefore have we fasted? Say they, and thou seest, seest not. God, in other words, they fasted, but God said they didn't really honor it because they liked the Pharisees. Go around boasting, brag. I've been fasting. I've been doing. He said, "You do these things secretly right. unto God, yes. and He will reward you openly." Yes, Didn't He? And they said, "We're fasting, and we've done this, and we've done that, but you haven't paid any attention." Mm -hmm. Go ahead, finish. Wherefore have we afflicted our soul? We have afflicted our souls. And thou takes no knowledge. We have we're, we're afflicted our souls. You haven't taken over a week, going through a lot, but you haven't paid any attention. Go ahead. Behold. Behold. In the day of your fast. In the day of your fast. You find pleasure. You stand in front of the TV set all the time. Yep. Try to kill the time. Try to kill your pain or hunger. You're always finding something to do. Go ahead. And exact all your labors. And go about doing all the things. That you normally would do. Behold. Behold. You fast for strife and debate. You fast for strife and debate. I've had 10, well, I've had 20, I've had 21. You know, and a lot of times they were going to fast, the Arabs and others fasting. It's like in the times of um, when Paul, when Saul was saved and named, changed his name to Paul, he, um, and, 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 and the um, Jews heard about it and they said, we're not going to eat nothing until we kill you. They went on a fast and they said, we're not going to break this fast until Paul is dead. Fasting for things like that is not right. right. Is it? Right. And you don't go around fasting for, you know, God showed me. Yep. You're my wife. Yeah. I'm going to fast until, until God, you're my husband. Wait a minute now. That's got a witchcraft kind of fast. Right. You don't force right. your will on somebody else. Right. Right. Do you? Right. Right. You don't fast for God to afflict somebody, for God to kill God. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Finish reading. And to smite with the fist of wickedness. And to smite with the fist of wickedness. Some people fast it. But go ahead. Finish. You shall not fast as you do this day uh -huh. to make your voice to be heard on high. Yes. It is such a fast that I have chosen. Uh -huh. A day for a man to afflict his soul. Is it to bow down his head as a glorious and to spread sackcloth sackcl and ashes under him? Yes. But well, we're going back to them days. Oh, yes. I mean, that's, God took us through some critical times in the 80s. Yes. And we're going back to them days. We were. On 36th Street North, we would put ashes mm -hmm. in the church. Yep. And people would come out there and sack off. Mm -hmm. They couldn't get no sack off, they would get croaker sack. Yep. Something that keep you from going to sleep, keep you scratching. Yep. Keep right. you in under. You know, that's what he's talking about. Right. You know, to um, affect your body, your body yep. to keep you uncomfortable. Right. And when you do that, the devil sees that. And he do everything he can to try to disrupt, yep. to try to stop you, to try to tell you you can't. Because he knows that you are defeated. You are, you are, you are admitting defeat when you start fasting. Mm -hmm. You are admitting that you need something and the devil, the, his, his horns and got in. He realized, oh, they need something. We're going to stop them. You, you know every time you, you don't have, you don't have an appetite for food. But somebody announces we're in faith, really the devil will throw every kind of thing in your face. Yep. And have everything looking good. Even stuff you don't like. Right. He don't want you fasting. Right. 
Right. Man. You know what you're trying to afflict your soul? Is not this the fast that I have chosen? Go ahead. Without calling this a fast, uh -huh. an acceptable day to the Lord. Yes. Is not this the fast that I have chosen? Uh -huh. To lose the mass of wickedness? God says, the, the, the fast that I have chosen is going to loose the bands of wickedness. Oh, in the, in the gospel, yes. Um, Jesus said, "This kind coming out, but by eating and drinking, oh, Good. and being on Facebook uh -uh. and YouTube nope. and gossiping nope. and running folks down." Uh -uh. Nope. No one. He said, "Your fasting has been in vain. Look at all the vain things you've done while you fasting." Back up and read that scripture again. It's not this the fast that it's, I have chosen. It's not this the fast that I've chosen. To loosen the bands of wickedness. I mean, there are bands of wickedness. The devil has got one band after another after another. Bands of wickedness. Yes. Of all people. Yep. And he's and, 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 and just praying sometimes is, is good, but fasting intensifies it. Mm -hmm. Fasting makes it more. Uh, affected. Yeah. And if it's just fasting a day, mm -hmm. a fasting, you know, and there are different kinds of fasting. You go to a salad fast, I'm not to on the bread, you go. <laughs> just a little something to kind of keep yourself fleshed out. And uh, there's a type of fast you can go. You know, it's, I'm just going to leave this cell phone at home. Yeah. I'm not going to turn it on. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to answer. I'm just going to fast from Facebook, yeah. from YouTube, yeah. from television, yeah. right. <laughs> from, you know, talking to folks. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, just, he said, go in your closet when you're fast. Mm -hmm. and shut the door. Shut the world out. Yes. Shut all the activities out. Yes. Well, you can't focus. He right. said, the day you search for me, no. huh? No. While you're doing things, mm -hmm. while you're taking care of this, while you're taking care of that, and you know, you get fast and still clean and do things. He said, but the day you search for me with all your home, mm -hmm. when you stop doing this and stop doing that, yes. and just give your whole Purpose and your whole uh, self to me that day yeah. or that half of it, and just shut the door, shut the world out, yes. shut people out, yes. shut you know everything else out. Yes, yes, yes. God ain't gonna just move for us just because we claim to be His. We're gonna have to learn how He said, "Seek and you will find." Yes. Knock and the doors will be open. Yes. Didn't He? Ask and it shall be given. Some answers will never come if they don't come through supplication. Mm -hmm. You know what supplication prayer is? Suffering in prayer. Mm -hmm. Really bawling. Yeah. Really squalling. Really crying out. Going deep down in there and letting that real travail come out of it. Yes. Yes. Man, yes. And uh, the song we can read that again. Is this not is, is this not the fast that I have that I have chosen to loosen the bands of wickedness to loosen all these bands yes. Yes. of wickedness things a layer on one layer of sin can be on another if we don't take time to come to church don't take time to pray right. don't take time to read the Bible right. and search our hearts and pray through then it'd be one band one layer after another. And that's what it's going to take fasting and praying. Mm -hmm. When you neglected your spiritual life and your spiritual life have become out of control and flesh have taken the driver's seat because you neglected God from day after day, week after week, mm -hmm. month after month, and bands collect right. in your mind, in your heart, yes. heart and spirit, yep. judge, criticize, mm -hmm. you know, Right. Being bad all the time. Right. Right. Fasting breaks down all that will. Fasting breaks down all that stubbornness, all that pride, yep. all that flesh. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised.
Christ, the elements fresh, and one for seven wheels in the You try to fast about three days, and you start dying. <laughs> Your spirit get tender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things you couldn't let go, you start letting them go. You become more humble. Mm -hmm. yeah. Huh? That's right. Man. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. I ain't gonna say that. But you know, if you constantly now I have to have a little protein because of uh, when you get a certain age, you know, when you get a certain age you have to eat to live. Some people live to eat. But when you get a certain age, you have to eat, and you have to eat certain proteins and certain things to, to live. Don't you? And uh, that's why I have to take a trip by friends. <laughs> but, some, but some people, you know, they, they eat so much until they get a phrase in them. They get a, what do they call that? Freddy's? Fred, Fred, what's his name? Huh? Freddy Cooper? What's his name? No, I'm talking about the, 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 the demon. Freddy Cooper? <laughs> Some people do everything to try to kill Freddy Cooper. But he always wish away, always come back. Always come back in a dream or come back in a nightmare or come back, you know, do this or do that. I don't watch all that mess. All that stuff opens the doors for the gates of hell. It opens the doors for demons. All these bad movies and nightmares. And it opens the doors. And listen to certain songs. And, 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 and be careful. Fast it helps to break you and, 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 and break down these bands. It's stubborn. Yep. Can't let this go. Can't let that go. Right. I guarantee you, you go four days without food and water, you let it go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you break. Yep. You see yourself more than anybody else when you go in the face. Yep. Right. Right. You start saying, all these things that's been, um, has been um, calculated. I mean, that's been um, um, a collectiveness. You know, that would be collecting. You know, Quilla was messing with me yesterday. She was messing with me. She was saying, oh, I said, what? She said, oh, why is it when you go into an antique shop, you can't get out? <laughs> I said, why? Because you're antique. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -uh. Nope. Mind. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Hallelujah. Ain't that right? No. Mine. Mine. <laughs> she teaches a little sister. A little sister gets up. No, I said, Mine. Now, I said, You better quit that now. She gonna, when she learn how to talk, she's going to give it back to you. <laughs> now you ask something from her. She look at you and say, Mine? Mine? <laughs> Well, we, we're his. Yes. We belong to him, don't we? Yes. Mm -hmm. Finish reading that. And to let the oppressed go free. To let the oppressed. Some people are oppressed in their bodies. Yes. With pain. And with sickness. And with diseases. Yes. Well, sickness is an oppression from the devil. Yes. Pushes you down, oppresses your body, oppresses. Some people oppress their mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One thing. Yes. Oppression comes in many forms. Yes. Yes, but in the Bible, in the in, in the gospel, it said there are some things can only come out through prayer and fasting. Yes. It's by this the fast mm -hmm. that I have chosen for you to give your whole attention, your purpose, your self to me. So you can not only be free yourself, but you can free others. Yes. Yes. Finish reading it. And that he break every yoke. And that you break every yoke. Is it not to deal our bread to the Every yoke needs to be broken, don't it? Yes. We don't need to come to church and, and, and get half the yokes broken. Yep. Mm -hmm. We need every yoke. We need the whole man healed. Yeah. The spirit, yeah. the soul, and the body. Yeah. The soul, the mind, the will, and the emotion. Mm -hmm. yeah. Huh? We need the whole, we need every yoke broken off of our body. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Off of our body, off of our will, yeah. our emotions. Go ahead. Our spirit yeah. can't get a prayer through because we're spiritually bound. God, break this yoke where I can pray through. Yes, yes. Break this yoke where I can have he that keeps his mind yes. staying on me, yes. Jesus said, shall be kept in perfect peace. Yes. No, he that keeps he that keeps the faith and yes. keeps his trust in me. Yes. I'll keep him. I don't care if all hell is breaking loose. If you keep your faith, I don't care what's happening. If you haven't seen stars and the sun as Paul did in 14 days and 14 nights, if you keep your heart, your mind, stay on me. I'll bring you through your darkest time. I'll help you when the enemy is coming against you. When he comes against you, yes. like a flood, I'll lift up a stone. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Yes. God wants to keep our mind. Yes. He wants to keep our physical bodies. Yes. He wants to keep our spiritual life in tune with Him. Yes. He don't want us to run off at the mind. Uh -uh. He don't want us to give no place where the devil can bring sin, sin or sickness, or bondage, and or cut away our blessings, right. or bring a curse in our home and our body. Right. Go ahead and finish reading that. Is it not to deal our bread to the hungry? To deal your bread to the hungry. Your bread is to heal it. Yes. To bring healing. To bring deliverance. Yes. To help them that. To deal your bread to the hungry. Yes. Huh? God, bring me into a place where I can pray the prayer of faith. Yes. Where I can lay hands on the sick. You said these signs shall follow them that believe. I want to be able to deal healing, patience, I mean healing and faith and strength and peace. Yes. I want to be able to loosen things that are bound in their mind, in their home, in their family, in their children. Yes, to deal your bread to the home. Yes. Uh -huh. And then thou bring, bring the poor that are cast out to thy house. Bring the poor that have been cast out. Bring them into your house. Yes. The poor. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Mm -hmm. Blessed are they that recognize they need help. Yes. They need, you know, spiritual.
glory to him. Uh -huh. When thou seest the naked. When you see them that are naked, don't have no armor. Not just physically. It, it speaks to both physically and spiritually. But not just physically, but when you see them that are naked. That thou cover them. Naked. Don't have nothing to protect themselves from the snares and from the devil. Don't have nothing. Don't have no, no armor, no spiritual armor. Right. They're just naked and open before the devil. Right. And even in the natural, you see people that are on the streets that need help or will work for food. You know, of course you can't help everybody, but God moves upon you to give somebody something to help them. You know? Deal your bread to the hungry. Go ahead. Did thou cover him? And did thou hide not thyself from thy own flesh? Cover. Don't hide yourself from even your own family members mm -hmm. when you see they need help. Right. Lord, you need to go find God. Have mercy on them. Right. Yes. Take them to prayer. Yes. Show them some scriptures. Yes. Give them some kind of, you know, spiritual. Yes. Not always doubting, not always finding fault, not always criticizing them. Go hide yourself from your own flesh. Right. Man, that's your daughter. That's your son. Yep. Reach out to me to give them some answers, to give them some help. They're going through things at school. They're going through things with other students. People trying to uh, jump on them. Teacher, maybe not, uh, you know, you can be going through. Don't hide yourself. Don't hide what God's given you right. when you can help. Your own family members. Right. Go ahead. Then shall our light break forth as the morning. Then shall your light break forth as the morning. And our help shall spring forth speedily. And your help shall spring forth speedily. Oh Lord have mercy. Jesus wants our help to spring forth. Yes. He wants He wants us to do some kind of fasting. Mm -hmm. To get rid of all this food that's that have rotten inside of us. Mm -hmm. Food that have caused Disease to form in our bodies. Well, then shall thy health spring forth speedily. Thy righteousness shall go before thee. And your righteousness will go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Yes. Then shall thy call the call and the Lord shall answer. Then you're gonna call the number one answer. Thou shalt cry. You're gonna cry. And he shall say, Here am I. And he's gonna say, I'm right here. Uh -huh. If thou take away from the midst of thee, if you take away from the midst of thee, the yoke, the yoke, the putting forth of a finger, don't put it forth on a finger. That's right. And speaking in vain. Don't put it forth on Facebook. That's right. Don't put it forth on on, on YouTube or, or right. don't post it. That's right. How how do you expect God to hear, hear from you when you're judging, you're finding fault, right. or you're listening to somebody? You ain't got to say one word. Just sit there and listen to them. It's wrong. That's right. Man. Just sitting there, taking it in, yeah. allow your mind to be affected, mm -hmm. allow your spirit to be corrupted. Mm -hmm. That's right. Lord, bring us into a place. Yes. Bring us into a place where our dedication, our praying, our seeking you will be acceptable in your sight. Yes. 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 Finish with that. And speaking vanity. Speaking vanity. Gossiping. Did you hear this? Yeah. You know, I saw so and so. People can't wait till they get up to you. You see how that was a rolling out of it? Well, God, bring up. Finish your that. Yeah. And if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry, draw your soul out to the hungry. Satisfy the afflicted soul. Satisfy the afflicted soul. Then shall our light rise in our security. Then shall our light rise out of obscurity. And thy darkness be as the noonday. And your, and your darkness shall be like the noonday. And the Lord shall guide thee. And the Lord will guide thee. Continually. Continually. And satisfy our soul in drought. Satisfy you when there's no revival. When there's no big giant chance out there. Right. When that word of the Lord. Ain't being spoken like it used to be. Yeah. Satisfy you, your soul, yes. and drive. Satisfy you, 
in drought. Yes. Yes. When there's nothing. Right. God said there'll be a time when there's going to be a famine. Right. For the hearing of the word of God. Right. Isn't it? Yes. Yes. Uh huh. And make fat our bones. And make fat your bones. Not to make you healthy, strong. Fat your bones. Go ahead. And thou shalt be like a watered garden. And you'll be like a watered garden. And like a spring of water. Like a spring of water. Whose waters fail not. Whose waters never fail. Out of the bed is going to flow joy, peace, mm -hmm. healing, yes. abundance. I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Right. God wants to give us some people, boy, you can't. You, 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 you don't know if they're saved or not because they always down. Always got a long face. Always got something negative to say. You know? Go ahead. And they that and they that shall be of, of thee shall build the old waste places. Uh -huh. Thou shalt rock us up the foundation of many generations. Yes. And thou shalt be called the repairs of the branch, the restorers of the path to dwell in. Repairs of the branch. Everything that leaked out, God said, I'm going to stop it. Yes. I'm going to stop you from losing everything you get when you come in prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Everything you get yes. when you come to the house of God and, and hear the word. Yeah. And before you get home, it's all leaked out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to repair all these, you know, all these leaks. Yes. Fill up all these leaks. Yes. You know, God does a lot for us, but it leaks out through our mouth. Right. Talking too much. Yeah. Quit talking so much. Yeah. Not to retain what you get. Yeah. Not to hold what you get. Huh? Yes. Yes. Well, go ahead. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath. If you turn away your foot from the Sabbath. From doing thy pleasure on my holy day. Uh huh. And call the Sabbath a delight. The holy of the Lord. Yes. Honorable and shall honor him. Not doing thy own ways, nor finding thy own pleasure, nor speaking thy own words. Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, Lord, yeah. and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. I mean, spoken. Right on the high places of the earth. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the rest of it, probably want to be an old, an old buzzer. Uh -uh. I wish. Always hovering around some dead. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> I may want to be an old turkey. Always scratching for for some a chicken. Scratch. Mm -hmm. Don't you want to be like an eagle? Yes. Don't you yes. want to ride above? Yes, yes. You don't want to be a, a turkey all your life. Uh -uh. An eagle ride and the eagle don't eat all that little dead stuff. Uh -uh. Eagle got to have them a fresh squirrel. Yes. Got to have them a a rabbit, fresh rabbit. Yes. Eat fresh food. Yes. It'll eat all this leftover stuff. Uh -uh. That's what we got in these churches. A bunch of uh, turkeys, a bunch of chicken, right. leftover salmon. Yep. Something that ain't never short. He said, eat my flesh, yes. drink my blood, yes. so you can have my life inside of you. Yes. I, I will cause you to man up with wings as an eagle. Run the weight on me. Yes. You run and not faint. Right, right. Walk, you're not be with. Yes, sir. Finish reading that. Well, that was it. Well, that's good. Yes. Amen. He said, Your light will spring forth. That's right. Read that verse again. Your light shall shine, shall break forth. Verse 8. Read that again. It then shall our light break forth as the morning. Then shall the light break forth as the morning. I was up this morning, uh, about an hour or two before daylight. And I saw, you know, the daylight coming in. The man is black out there for a while. Yep. Your light is black out there spiritually. Yes. God wants our light to break forth yes. out of this blackness, yes. out of this darkness. Darkness covers the earth. Yes. Gross darkness, which is spiritual darkness, covers the people. Yep. But rise and shine, for thy light has come. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Your life is a testimony of Jesus. Mm -hmm. 
You're a living epistle. When people, they don't, people don't read the Bible, but when they see you, they'll read the Bible. Hallelujah. Don't you want to be a living epistle? Yes. Living, walking, talking, word of God. The word was made flesh, dwelt among us. We beheld God walking in man, walking in flesh, talking through man, living through man, loving through man, forgiving through man, showing compassion through man, showing mercy through man. Jesus was a living word. He was a word made flesh. God wants you to be living epistle. The word made flesh. When men read you, they read Jesus. They see his life. They see him demonstrating. They see him manifesting through your life. Hallelujah. And thy health shall spring forth speedily. And your health shall spring forth speedily. Thy righteousness shall go before thee. Uh huh. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Yes. And that, that verse about um, it was that that verse about that light. Then shall thy light yeah. break forth as the morning. Then shall the light break forth as the morning. Yes. Thy health shall spring forth. Your light break forth. Let that be light. Yes. In the midst of all this corruption. Yes. In the midst of all this uncleanness. In the midst of all this pervertedness, let them be light in the midst of these diseases. Let them be light. Yes, that's right. Huh? Yes. You are the light of the world. Yes. Lord, this light inside of us is to grow. Did you know when you get saved, God put a light in you. Mm -hmm. And you're not to put that light on the or bushel. You want to put it on the candlestick. Yes. So we can, so the people out there in darkness can see it. Yes. So the people can benefit from it. Right. So the people out there can see a way out of this hate, darkness, false religion. Right. You are the light of the world. A city that sits upon the hill yes. which cannot be healed. Right. That light is supposed to grow in us. Yes. The more we read the Bible, the more we serve God and get close to Him, the more that light increases. Right. Yes. The more that light will begin to manifest. Yes. And that light will bring in um, the um, very virtue that brings in the very healing. Yes, sir. Right. Well, yes, right. in Him was life, and the light was the light, and that light brought healing. Yes. Come on now. Keep your mind sober. Right. I mean, keep your mind focused, yes. sharp, spiritual. Yes. That's right. Man. Finish reading. What was I reading? Huh? Oh, I was reading. <laughs> That's right. Your life. Yes. That's right. Christ in you is the light of the world. Right. Christ in you is the hope of the world. Mm -hmm. Christ in you brings the world out of darkness. Yes. Christ in you brings the world out of confusion. Right. Christ in you brings the world out of diseases. Yes. Right. Yes. Christ in us. Yes. Well, yes, man. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, read over there in a I believe it's in John 8 and verse 12. John 8 and verse 12. Then spake Jesus again to uh -huh. them, saying, I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. He that followed me yes. shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Thank you, Lord. The light that brings forth eternal life. Mm -hmm. Read verse 9, chapter 9 and verse 5. As long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. Hallelujah. Yes. 12 and verse 26. I am come a light into the world. And whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. Yes. 
Thank you, Jesus. Now, as I was saying a minute ago, that light, when you get saved, a light comes inside of you. And that light, you know what darkens it, is when we uh, slip and get into the lust of the flesh. Right. Yes. These young people have to go to school. We went to um, go pick up a couple of uh, young people. We're going to pick up now, I believe, in uh, in uh, Caleb over there at, at the school in the young show. And uh, for, for a little bit, I was kind of glad, I was glad and all that. Out of um, Web City, because but Web City have a good curriculum, and they took time and they taught you. And I'm not saying that Neosha doesn't, but in Web City, I noticed when I had to go pick up knowledge in Web City, how that the girls had these little bitty, you know, dressing, and something they don't even go to bed. Yeah. Little bit of shorts. And then I said, well, thank God she had to have to go to Web City, go to the old show. And the old show is even worse than Got these little bit of shirts. that reaches all the way up to the panty line. I said, man, they even worse than yep. mm -hmm. When I was going to school, you had to have women wore skirts that was down to the knees right. and they had barber socks. Amen. That's right. They didn't dress mm -hmm. like, like, like people were dressing in a day. That's right. And you expect these boys to keep a, a clean mind. That's right. But uh, I'm not uh, going down that road right now. But when that light is in you, it produces a holy life. Yes. A godly life. Yes. Yes. And that light will begin to, that light will begin to increase. Increase. Don't you want that light? Have that light increased in you since you've been saved. Are people seeing the life of Jesus? Are they hearing it through your words? Are they seeing it through your actions? Even through your appearance? Is that life producing a light that the people can see that there's a difference between you and them? Amen. But let me read this. We're gonna, I'm going to hurry up. But let me read this over in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 4, verse 13 through 15. Wherefore I desire that you faint not uh -huh. in my tribulations for you, which is your glory. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Then Ephesians 4, 13 to 15. Till we all come in the unity of the faith. Yes. And of the knowledge of the Son of God. Unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. See, that's what that light is supposed to do. Bring us into the measure of the stature of the what? Fullness of Christ. Full. How many more Christ in you? Yes. yes. How many want him? You know, there's a place in the Bible where it says that... He comes in some people, but they only get him to the anchor. You know. And then he comes in others, and he comes in all the way to the knee. And then he comes in others, and he comes all the way to the um, loins up in here. Then he comes in others all the way to waters to swim in. Where you're just saturated with him. You're full of him. Anytime somebody come around you, you know, they they, they, they know, they feel, they sense. Yeah. God wants us to be so baptized with Jesus that when the world comes around us, they can get, they can get healed just without shadow. 
You never read that in the Bible? He was shouting. It wasn't a shout. It was that light that was in him. And that light was producing an anointing. And that anointing was flowing out of Peter. And, and it flowed into that shadow. And flowed into the side, the side of him. Let this, let this light grow in you. I believe there's one scripture in John 3 and verse 30. That speaks about um, I must decrease. Read that John 3 and 30. John 3 and 30. I'm going to let you go here. All right. And we'll get into this gospel version of this tonight. He must increase. Wait a minute. He. I brought this out of wild land. Yes. He must increase. Mm -hmm. We've always read, I must decrease. And he must increase. But that ain't what it's saying. Read it again. He must decrease. He must increase. But I must decrease. I must decrease. See, he must increase. When he increases, then I die. I decrease. When the sun comes up in the morning, you know, all that darkness has to go away. Don't it? When the sun goes down, that darkness comes right back. He must increase. His word must increase. His spirit must increase. His faith must increase. His life must increase. When he increases, I decrease. Yes. You can't decrease until he increases. He's the only one that can cause you to decrease. Right. That's right. Yes. Finish it. Yes. Yes. Let's read one more. Can I read one more? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go to uh, the book of uh, well, why are you with that Ephesians three, three and seventeen through nineteen? Ephesians three, seventeen through nineteen. That Christ may dwell in your heart by faith. Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. That you being rooted and grounded in love. You being rooted, grounded in love. May be able to comprehend with all saints. Uh -huh. What is the breath? So you can understand what I'm preaching. Mm -hmm. So you can it can be not just veil hidden from you. God wants to take the veil off our mind. Yes. Take the veil off of our understanding so we can understand what our God has for us. It's not just coming to church. Uh -huh. Not just sitting and not just hearing the word. Not just singing. Not just shouting. But coming and know the full purpose of God. Why he saved us. Why he brought us out of the world. Yes. He had brought you out of the world of sin. He brought you out. He had called you out of darkness. Yes. For a reason. He called you out of ignorance. For a reason. Yes. Yes. I don't know when you before you got saved, you had a vague imagination. I wonder if I'm real. I wonder is, 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 is there anything around me real? I wonder. You know, these are vain imaginations. Anybody ever thought like that? I wonder if any. What is wow? You know. But all these are vain. Things mm -hmm. of a worldly thing. Yep. If I just had what they got, yeah. if I just had the lust of the flesh, lust of the eye, pride of life, I just had this, I just had that, I'd be happy. I, and get these things, you find yourself still empty, That's still right. void. Right. Yes. That light comes in, takes the voidness out. Yes. That in Him is on. Uh, that scripture in Genesis, who was that? Genesis? The light shine. I mean, the the the, the light. The uh, the spirit moved mm -hmm. and drove back the darkness, drove yes. back the voidness, drove back the evidence. Yes. God is speaking to tell you, let there be light. Yes. Yes. Let Christ now begin to rise. As marvelous light is what truth is revealed to you. Yes. Marvelous light. Is what his, his nature, divine nature, is revealed to you. Yes. That marvelous light. Yes. 
Hallelujah. It's when you be, when everything becomes real, a reality. Yes. My word is truth. Mm -hmm. My word is spirit. My word is life. My word becomes real. Everything you read in that Bible, you begin to experience it. Yes. You begin to feel it. It, it. it floods your spirit. It floods your heart. It transforms your mind. It changes you. You become a new creature. You become a light to the world.
Heavy burdens can be loosened. Yes. The beds of weakness can be loosened. Yes. Also, man's life, Christ in us is that light. Yes. Lord, you want that light to spring forth in us. Help yes. us this morning. Jesus. To take hold. Yes, Lord. Tell what this word is speaking to us. Jesus. Lord, we're going to have to deny ourselves. Jesus. Take up our cross. Yes. He said, this kind of coming now but by prayer and fasting. This kind coming now but by self-denial. This kind coming now. Lord, but lay our lives down in these altars. Lord, that our health can spring forth speedily. Lord, that men can be brought out of the prison houses. Lord, that people can be delivered. Lord, we want this light to spring forth in us. Have mercy upon us this morning. Help us to recognize. God, in this word that you put in us, it's not just a word, but you said it's a marvelous light. Yes. God, you brought us out of darkness into a marvelous light to show others out of darkness, to show others out of sicknesses, to show others out of diseases, to show others. Lord, that there's help, that there's hope, and that hope is in you, in your word. Yes. In the name of Jesus. God, help us, Lord. Take hold of what we heard this morning. But I know that Christ in us wants to spring forth and bring deliverance. Your word has been spoken of a revival of sons and daughters, young men, old handmaids and servants, of people that you want to raise up. Lord, you said like the stars of heaven, like the stars in the sky, and like the sand in the sea as a people. God, that you're going to raise up in these last days. The world ain't waiting for God of NBA. The world ain't waiting for the NFL, the Super Bowl. The world is waiting for Christ in us. The world is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. The world is waiting for Jesus to be manifested inside of his people. God, help us, Lord, to take hold of this word. So we can be that light. You said you the light of the world. You left us to be that light. You said we are a city that's set on a hill which cannot be hid. Don't let us hide our lights, Lord. We want that light to be set up on a candlestick. We can, we can give light to all those that are in the world. People need light today. People need help today. People need deliverance today. Lord, people need to be run out of darkness today. Let Jesus, let that light that you put in us, let us spring forth. God, as we offer our bodies to you, as we offer ourselves to you, a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable. Which is our reasonable service. We won't be conformed in this world, but we'll be transformed by the renewing of our minds. In the name of Jesus, have mercy upon your people today. God, strengthen us, Lord. Let this word, let this revelation of this light go, go down in the inside of our hearts and our minds. Help us to respond to this word. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you this morning. Strengthen Brother Blue with his body. Thank you for this word that you put inside of him. God, let this word continue to go out to your people. Help us, Lord. All the body of Christ. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we love you. We thank you. Jesus. Those that come in late this morning.